Hi Sagittarius, welcome to your reading guys. Let's dive into this. This is Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Y'all know sometimes uh, signs in your 7th or 8th house will resonate when it comes to love, relationship, partnership. And if you're having a love affair, guys, in that circumstance, check the 5th house sign. Yes. Let's jump in. Let's find out your connection your person their energy their feelings their thoughts towards you this week this is for my Sagittarius I also want to see how they're viewing your energy uh -huh. any behaviors any actions they're going to take towards you but we'll also see if we've got any tension or crossing energy uh, going on in our connection this week for my Sagittarius, their person. What is their person bringing their way this week? Please. Ooh. Yeah, hold on. Let me shuffle here. Right there. Yes. Yes. Y'all know I can't sling these cards. <laughs> yeah, the card stops too, too stiff. Okay. Your person's feelings and desires towards you. We've got a five of swords. You're feeling some strife. Yes, they are. Their view of you or their perception of you and your energy. Ooh, they seeing you as a Leo King of Wands. Ow. Mmm. Behavior towards you this week. We've got Emperor. Error. Emperor energy. Wow. Okay. Actions they're taking. Not much. They standing on the fence. They hesitant. They don't know what to do. They can't make up their mind. Oh, Sagittarius guys. Oh, they got you sitting in 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 the highest masculine energy of yourself. <laughs> yes. Uh, instead of being the knight taking action, you sit down and you become solid in something. Yes, you have. Bottom of the deck, we got a Queen of Cups, Cancer Energy. Uh, what's up under her? Heartache. Ooh. Or expecting to get my heart hurt. Yes. Let's find out um, why they are wanting to cause some issues here. This card, guys, for real, it's like I want to disarm somebody. I want to prove somebody wrong. I want to get the last word. I don't care how it hurts their feelings. I'll do it. I'll do it. It's a bittersweet victory. Uh, but it also um, tries to disarm the, the your opponent to take their weapon from them. So they definitely got some issue going on. We got a nine of pentacles. They were in their comfort zone. Oh, well, a fortune, but something changed. What changed? Love. Love. Oh. Freedom, independence, Sagittarius. What's going on with you? <laughs> uh, okay, what's causing this issue, guys, is for real, is somebody's in their comfort zone. I like my freedom, my independence. I don't want to do anything with karma. We don't need to change. We don't need to step up. I love you, but that should be enough. Yeah, because I like my freedom and my independence, and I'm not going to be pressured into anything, but somebody is pressuring. Mm -hmm. Especially when we come over here and find their behavior of the emperor of, I want to overpower you. I want my way. And you're sitting down in your highest energy of, see, you want all you want. I, I know, I know what I know. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, bottom of the deck, we got a Knight of Swords. We definitely got some communications that are going quick and fast and cutting uh, one way or another. But I, I feel like it's more your person talking from a triggered level. <laughs> yes. Where you might be sitting smiling and calm about things, which is making it worse on them. Ooh, three's a crowd. <laughs> friends, friends and socializing. Mm, that devil card is also telling me on the undercurrent energy. Uh, your person is going to try to, uh, to win, win by influencing friends and family, people around you. 
to win them over to their side. Like we've got sides to choose <laughs> instead of being on the same side this week. We on the opposite end of the battlefield with each other. Yeah, and things are going quick. So they are moving quick and they are trying to get um, in good favor with family or friends that would actually, you know, look at you and go, what's wrong with you? <laughs> Oh, okay. Let's see a little bit more of what they don't like about you sitting down in your power and you just not being moved because they don't they don't want to be moved either. Ooh. None of swords. Four of wands. Ow. <laughs> Virgo, detail, detail. That's the the clues, the pertinent information will be in the small written details of things yes and they are very much because we just it just reiterated back over what i said about somebody is going they got mm -hmm, they're trying to they're trying to get a reaction from you they want to stress you they really do want to stress you this week but how are they doing it because this is like saying the only way i know to do that to get on your nerves to get a trigger reaction from you is to get the whole family all of our friends everybody involved in this yes and they're being very detailed about your personal business with everybody else mm -hmm. pointing out everything you're doing that's getting on their nerves and how you're just yeah, you're causing so much drama at them when in actuality what's happening, guys. They're stirring the pot. <laughs> yes. Yes, causing their own drama. Mm, let's see that emperor. What are we going at? at each, I mean, it's like uh, two rams ramming their heads together. Kind of energy. Or two bulls that are it just deadlocked with each other. I'm not giving an inch. So, yeah. Mm. Emperor energy. Young emperor energy. <laughs> Two of wands. I want what I want and, and I'm patient enough to try to get it. Mm -hmm. I will hold out. But it's also because it's straight on their behavior. It's straight the shadow into their behavior. This one is them trying to bend the will of things to go their way. Uh, that two of wands of, uh, I'm, I'm taking action. <laughs> yeah, I've thought this through. Uh, it's got our emperor, mature emperor, going all the way back into an immature emperor. Just starting out and did I really think things through? And the consequences, not really. Not really, because that five of swords is like, please, uh, think it through before you take the actions or say the words. Uh, that may be what stalls them this week. Uh, brings them to a halt of, oh, shit. <laughs> Normally, them swords are crossed. But now they're pointing up now. Mm -hmm. As above, so below. Here's your karma. <laughs> oh, the will of fortune. Karma. Ooh. Do I want to open that Pandora box? Something's bringing them to a halt. What is it? Oh, they were trying really hard, weren't they? They were devoted and dedicated to a plan. To making sure they got some kind of recognition here. But what happened? It left them out in the cold. <laughs> left them out in the cold. Yes, it did. It's stressing them. It's stressing It's making it worse on And look at you, Sagittarius. Just sitting there. Smiling. Smiling, calm, confident, smiling. Why all that crap's going on? And they trying their best to get you triggered. Mm. Ooh, who gets the victory? <laughs> uh, whoever gets the victory is wore themselves out completely. Wore themselves out. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, this is like you know, sp spotlight energy. Think of more Leo energy. The fact that we know the cards have pulled out twice. They're pulling friends and family and tribe into your personal business. Mm -hmm. They're going to be in spotlight energy. But what happens while they're in spotlight energy? They thought they were so victorious. 
Yes, but they weren't quite, were they? No. I don't know what's going to happen, but in how much of a fool they're going to make out of theyself this week and everybody, because they got everybody into it. Everybody gets see them all oh, from grace. Mm. Ow! <laughs> that's, that's, mm. Yeah, sometimes, you know, when, when somebody's in that battle mode of, I got, I'm going to win this. I'm going to get the last word here. Mm-hmm. I'm going to prove I'm right. Sometimes all you got to do to win that battle is just sit down and do what you're doing. Smile and watch. <laughs> they will destroy themselves. Yes, they will. Let's see. And outside of all this, this drama stuff. What what do we have that's supportive in our energy on an energetic level? What is good? Oh, we got four pentacles. Hang on. Hmm. And the Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn energy. Look at there. We're both smart. We're very grounded and practical, and we know how to be frugal and wise about things when we're not emotional. Mm-hmm. We know how to handle our business. Yes, we do. But we're talking like success, resources, things like that. We become very smart. Mm -hmm. And we know we have a tendency um, to try to nurture from a tangible level. Uh, it'd be like, you know, not just uh, trying to inspire somebody to feel better. Just let me set, find some good, nice words to say make you feel better. No, we would be actually fixing them a, bu a bubble bath or getting them something to drink, that kind of thing. Buying them something small that will put a smile on their face, that kind of thing. That's how our Capricorn Queen nurtures. She nurtures from a physical level. But the one thing we have that is supportive is we don't want to let each other go. <laughs> we like the connection and we feel a need to press it to our chest, hold it to our heart, to hold each other close. But, as you can see, right now, <laughs> this week, is a rough week. Mm -hmm. Let's see how, um, well, we already know where, where things are headed for your person this week. And their behavior and their actions is really going to go into no action. It's going to be more like, oh, he's <laughs> oh, my own worst enemy. Hmm. Let's see the tension. Let's see tension. What what will come out on that tension card? Ooh, what's causing them tension right now is you just sitting still, not being reactive. That Cancer Queen of Cups energy. Ah, wishes. Happy. I'm happy. You do what you want to do. You do you, boo. And look, you stay in positive. That's the tension this week. Is you they are not able to unnerve you. They are not able to unnerve you, but they're going to try real hard. It's going to go go fast and furious for them. But you'll see where it ends. Yeah. Mm. So, yeah, it's getting on their nerves. They can't get you triggered and reactive. Let's go ahead and see if they want to put a energy onto a deck. Give you a quick message. I'm almost afraid to ask. Quick message. Which deck? We're getting butterfly deck. Yeah. Transformation. Okay. It's for my Sagittarius, their person. Okay. Let's cut this deck, make it easier on my hands, guys. I got big hands, but not that big. You meant more to me than I let on. It matters more than you think it does. It bothers me more than you think it does. I feel so tempted by you all the time. You would never believe me if I told you how I feel. Hmm. Anything else off of this deck? Anything else? Those come out quick. Yes. Yes. I didn't follow my heart. I didn't follow my heart. I followed my pissed off. I'm, I'm, I'm a fool. Ooh, 
look at them. Speaking for them, y'all. Anything else you want to say to him? I said, do you think of me? Sagittarius be sitting there smiling like, you just keep on. Got nothing to say. I don't know how to prove my love and loyalty to you. Oh, Sagittarius, I hope it was helpful, guys. Y'all stay blessed.